ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாஸ் வைவஸ்வதாய மிருத்தியவே பிரம்ம வித்யாச்சாரியாயிகேதசே ஓம் சஹனாவது சஹனௌ புனக்து சஹ வீரியங் கரவாவகை தேஜஸ்வி நாவதீதமஸ்துமாவித்விஷாவகை So, we should be ready to chant uh, number 13, right? 1.2.13. Yetat Shrutva. That is where we are going to start from. With the Sambandha Bhashya. Oh, Sambandha Bhashya? Yeah, there is just two words, Sambandha Bhashya. Oh, uh, this, which, which page it is, that uh, Bhashya? Page 54. 54 huh? okay. yeah pdf notes 54 geeta press 59 and this uh, only kincha is there nothing else kincha 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 geeta chrutva sam parigrihya matya மோதனிவா மாணுமேத So, Yamadharma Raja is has not started teaching yet, and, but he is giving some very important points and uh, he talked about this Dura Mete Viparite Vishuchi Shreyascha Preyascha, there are two. two quote and quote paths available to a person like that he started in this dritiya valli and how these two paths are opposites of each other all that we saw and then naisha tarkena matirapaneya another very very important that many people miss out and says exclusively by reason you cannot figure this out okay and uh, then acharya prashamsa he talked about that ananya prokte gatiratra nasti gracharya gave two meanings for ananya prokta and four meanings for gatihi and combining that literally you can have two times four eight meanings but shankaracharya gave us about three or four meanings i think totally okay so all the quote and quote important basics of 
Vedanta he covered. And then in uh, 10, he admits that even though he knew this karma and karma phalam, whatever is obtained by karma phalam is anityam, anityam. Still he did this agni, this swarga prapti agni called, now called nachiketa agni. If I don't say now called, then people will ask me questions. How come the, 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 Yama did the nachiketa agni, uh, etc. You are all asking questions. So I will correct myself. So which is now called nachiketa agni. <laughs> Okay, that I did, he says, and because of that, I'm where I am right now. And uh, in this Yamaloka, all that he said. And then he praised Nasiketa in number 11. Atyasrakshi, he, all the goodies I gave you, you rejected having well thought out. That's mature, maturity he was talking about. And uh, then in mantra number 12, he talks about dhiraha harsha shokau jahati. So it's talking about this that you're asking, which is guda manupravishtam, etc., which apparently has gone so deep that you have to have an acharya to extricate that atma out. And uh, but then the benefit of that is what? Harsha shokau jahati. That person no longer has any. The feelings of pain and all that will be there, but no longer consider himself to be a victim of elation and depression. Okay, that is that is where we, we completed. Then we resume with mantra number 13. I gave the gist of this mantra in the last class. And we said, some of these words are cryptic and without studying Shankara's Bhashim, we won't be able to follow. And so, etat shrutva, etat, etat means this, this uh, Yama is using that pronoun, this, to refer to what you asked for, hey, Vachiketa, you asked for it in that one, 120, am prete vichikitsa manushe, those, that atma about which there is a lot of doubt, and that etat shrutva, having heard, he doesn't say, having read about it, he doesn't say all that. He says, having heard, Shravanam is so important. It means you need somebody else. And every other subject, you can pick up a book and figure it out. Maybe if you're a genius, you don't need a book also. But here, it won't work out like that. Shrutva, so Shravanam Krutva, Sam Parigrihya, Mananam Krutva. So Mananam, because when there is something to be believed, there is there is no some doubt may be there but beyond a point doubts cannot be clarified because it is to be believed god is there in heaven now what doubt can you have about god you can say where is heaven heaven you don't where, where you will only when you go to heaven you will know where heaven is okay okay believe that's all over the question no more questions asked far away up there okay far away up there believed i believe you and that's the end of it but uh, shrutva doubts when something is to be understood tatitva masi has to be understood it is not simply an equation to be believed my dear friend you believe it initially but you believe it in order to understand it you don't believe it in order to stop with belief belief must culminate in understanding therefore shrutva then once you say i want to understand then all kinds of doubts will come Therefore, mananam krutva sampari grihya. Okay, then what happens? Pravrihya. He's using three verbs. Three verbs is used. Pravrihya. Then what happens? Then all these. These notions that were there before, which are now negated by this knowledge. But still, all this knee jerk reaction will be there. So, nididhyasanam krutva. Okay. Nididhyasanam Kritva. So very cryptic words, you can see that. And then Dharmyam Anum Etam Apya. Another verb word he is using. Verb Apya. So Etam Anum. Anum. Shankaracharya used the word Atmanam in that in that mantra. 
where uh, Yama introduced the word Anu, which is using again here, that Anu was used in the mantra, first mantra in response to Nachiketa's third boon question. And there he said that, Devai Ratrapi Vichikitsatam Pura Nahi Suvigneyam Anuresha Dharmaha. So there he is using the word Anuhu and Dharmaha for Atma. Dharmaha for Asma, here Dharmyam. We will explain that. Vikracharya will explain what Dharmyam is. And Dharmyam means Dharmat Anapetam, he is going to say. This Atma, which is not figured out by Tarka, but which is learnt from the Shruti, because you can't figure it out yourself. Then having learned, heard from the Shruti, because Ethat Shrutva, he said, having heard, then reasoning it out, and then that that process where you are going along with the Shruti, going along with the, your reason is going along with the Shruti. That is called Dharmyam here. And that Anum, Sukshmam, Atmanam, Apya, having gained Atma. Okay. Gained Atma means what? Am I without Atma now? And now I am going to afterwards, I am going to gain Atma. I am going to get Atma. is going to come and very happily come and sit on me. No, it's not like that. So it's knowledge. It's cognitive. So Modate Modani Yagum Hi Labdva. And Labdva, another verb he's using. Having gained the source of all happiness. Shankaracharya is going to say Modani Yagum means source of all happiness. Atma is the source of all Ananda. I'm running around pillar to post searching for Ananda. He says, no, you don't have to search anymore from pillar to post because you are the source of Ananda. So that he's going to say, having gained that Atma, quote-unquote gained, Vivritagam Sadma Nachiketa Sam Manye. Another verb he is using, Manye. Aham Manye, I consider. What do I consider? I consider Nachiketa. And what and uh, and uh, what's happened to Nachiketa? Vivritagam Sadma. Sadma means Bhavanam. Chakra is going to say Brahma Bhavanam. Brahma Bhavanam. And that Brahma Bhavanam, the palace of Brahma, the doors of the palace of Brahma have as though opened for Nachiketa. That is what he is saying. So praising the praising the Shishya. And uh, so that's the summary of this. So what is the summary? It is Yama has you know in a sweep he has gone through the broad brush of Shavanam, Mananam, and Nididhyasanam, which we have talked about in Bhagavad Gita, which is mentioned clearly in the Brihadaranya Kopanishad. All those sadhanas, the means to attain this Atma, quote unquote, is mentioned, indicated by Yama. And uh, so let's now read the Bhashan. आचार्य yeah, so in your Gita press book, if you are following, it will say Acharya Prasadat. Mm -hmm. It will say within brackets Acharya Sakashat. That is there in your notes. And that is the uh, text given in uh, Shringeri Pata also. So, okay. Acharya Sakashat. Acharya Sakashat. Samyak Atma Bhavena. Samyak Atma Bhavena. Parigrihya Parigrihya Upadaya Upadaya Martyaha Marana Dharma Martyaha Marana Dharma Dharmat Anapetam Dharmad Anapetam Dharmyam Pravrihya Dharmyam Pravi Pravihya Uddhyamya Pratak Kritya Uddhyamya Pratak Kritya 
ಮಂತ್ರ If you look at it, the first half ends with Apya. Etat. Shankaracharya starts the Bhashyam with the word Etat, which is there in the Moolam, Etat. So he is telling, Etat means what? Atma Tattvam. Atma Tattvam. Etat. which of course you asked for it which is the same thing we are still in the third bone and so you asked for it that atma tattva which you asked for and uh, which i said there is a lot of doubt about that atma but now i am very clear that you are capable of understanding what i am going to say yad aham vakshyami etad atma tattvam yad aham vakshyami vachidhatu litlakara future tense okay so vakshyami i i will i am about to tell you about i will tell you okay which means he is not started correct not started yet it means this is an introduction so okay yadaham vakshyami which i am about to tell you which means what shrutva <laughs> ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ತತ್ ಶ್ರುತ್ವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಗುರು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸಕಾಶಾತ್ ಸಕಾಶಾತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸಕಾಶಾತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೆ ಸಾಮ್ನೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಗುರು ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಗುರು ಓಕೆ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಎ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ Guru is needed. Uh, it's very obvious by now for all of us why we need somebody. We need somebody who can clarify and talk to us. And this is about me. And about me, I can't take for granted. And this is such an important thing. It's a question of life versus death. Death and life and death and life and death and life. It's like that. And so it's so critical. So I can't leave it to chance. Okay. Acharya Prasadat. Tat Shrutva Acharya Prasada. Means I can, nobody can come and say, somebody says, I am a self-taught Jnani. Then you have to say, oh, okay, tell me a little more. What do you mean self-taught and all that? You know, that is what Shankaracharya is saying. And then, Samyak Atma Bhavena Parigrithya Upadhaya. Look at that verb, Parigrithya. Shankara says, Upadaya. See, it's, that's, that's why it's useful to study a little Sanskrit. Uh, of course, I, will, I have to study Sanskrit. I'm not telling about you. You also should study Sanskrit, no doubt. But look at this. Da. Da, da, ne. Da is to give. All Sanskrit students know. Da means da. Da, da, tu. Please give me. Uh-huh. Da, da, tu. Uh, you please give me so dadami i am giving i am giving something i am giving this book to you pustakam dadami so dada to is to give ada if you put a prefix a to da it becomes opposite of da it means to take ada <laughs> ada means to take to receive okay to accept okay then to to grasp all these meanings come and grih parigrihya grih is also to grasp to 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 get a hold of to hold on to to assimilate something is said if something if you tell me something i must understand what you tell told me so that is called grasping properly understanding parigrihya properly grasping properly understanding look at the prefix pari paritaha Paritaha means completely, understood very well. Got it. We must be able to say, I got it. That's it. Nothing else 
remains to be known that is the meaning of the prefix pari paritaha means completely so that is what he is saying upada yeah and then upa prefix we have not talked about so to ask you what is upa what will you tell me near 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 upasami upasami pe now you should move from english to sanskrit upasami pe hindi samip samipavarti so now you are experts in telling near but now next time you should say upasami pe so because that's our it's all coming to us like that so sami pe so receiving it receiving this knowledge of atma atma tatvam okay upasami pe and that sami pe look at that he he is now in case he forgot the prefix upai sami pe he is giving the adjective atma bhavena how am i supposed to understand this atma tatvam this tatvam that you are going to talk about, talk about atma bhavena which is moksha because earlier he said harsha shoka jahati that is moksha and this moksha is what to be understood as atma bhavena whether you are talking about ishvara or jagat or everything that ishvara must be atma bhavena means as not different from atma not ishvara that is somewhere out there no sarva vyapi ishvara sarva vyapi atma therefore ishvara and atma are not different from each other atma bhavena parigrihya correct so not paroksha ishvara any more so far all ishvara was paroksha he was in heaven she was in heaven etc periodically they come whenever we do ganesh chaturthi ganesh comes and goes back no this coming and going back slowly i get out of that mode and say there is no coming and going for sarva vyapi how can there be coming and going for the all pervasive and how can there be two all pervasives therefore it is all one atma and ishvara have to be one okay therefore atma bhavena not paroksha aparokshataya atma bhavena means what aparokshataya parigrihya no longer considering ishvara as paroksha remote aparoksha non remote means here and now okay good then martyaha moolam okay etat shrutva sam parigrihya martyaha who does all these things martyaha does this martyaha shrutva martyaha is the subject of the sentence and shankara acharya is helping us understand the word martyaha as though we don't know what it is he says marana dharma marana dharma <laughs> maranaha dharmaha yasesaha marana dharma okay and uh, means what the one whose characteristic is death that is called martyaha <laughs> mortal ityartha okay this mor mortuary mortal etc all these words i think they have a strong this mru mrut connected it just did to copy i think copy and paste okay so okay one who has a nature of coming to an end maranam correct and uh, that fellow that guy shrutva once that that matya means one who considered himself herself to be a mortal that person because that person really doesn't die even though death is there body is there but law of conservation of mass is there nothing really disappears from this world law of conservation of energy is there on top of that law of conservation of atma also we are talking about so really speaking there is no death at all but there is that apparent death and so dharmat anapetam dharmyam so ulta hai so normally dharmyam then shankara should say dharmat anapetam that is how normally works molam word then only the meaning bhashyam is given here it is reversed so dharmyam let's look at dharmyam and uh, the dharmyam is dharmat anapetam anapetam means not transgressing not violating in keeping with going along with that is the meaning of anapetam 
anapetam going along with what dharmat not transgressing dharma not violating dharma <laughs> means not violating the veda don't use don't stretch your reason and come up with all kinds of funny things start with the shastra start with the shastram shastram says that liberation is only possible if you are already liberated there is no other liberation possible everything else is going to be within the prayas going to heaven also is part of prayas or shreyas if i ask you you should confidently say going to heaven also is prayas correct shreyas cha prayas cha manushya metaha the prayas why because chine punye martya lokam vishanti after having a great vacation in swarga you will have to come back somewhere some world you will have to come back and so that is why that is prayas and so dharmat anapetam dharmyam this dharmyam which is this atma tatvam don't try to come up with some idea of atma you are that atma and it should be it should be understood through the shastra therefore we can bringing all the words that we learnt in bhagavad gita karma yoga rupa pravritti jnana yoga rupa nivritti nivritti correct so having gained the adhikaritvam through karma yoga okay no accomplishment in this world requires you to say i am a karma yogi okay no resume will have this word karma yogi बट यहां पर कर्म योगी होना चाहिए ओके एंड व्हाई कर्म योगी मीन्स व्हाट लर्निंग टू डू शिशासन दट इज कर्म योगी नो कर्म योगी मीन्स प्रसाद बुद्धि एंड ईश्वर अर्पण बुद्धि मस्ट बी दैट ओके एंड दैट इज कर्म योगा एंड दैट द फुल प्रेजेंस ऑफ दैट विल गिव मी द क्वालिफिकेशन नीडेड सो दिस विवेक वैराग्य एक्सेट्रा ऑल दो फोर क्वालिफिकेशन आर देर and then of course i am ready for that knowledge of this atma tatvam all that comes under this dharmyam very loaded word dharmyam <clears throat> and it is dharmat anapetam vedat anapetam okay shabdat anapetam okay veda vakyat anapetam so that dharma that dharmyam atma tatvam okay in one word atma tatvam which is already mentioned earlier and then what pravrhya udyamya prathakritya sharīradehi very interesting pravrhya udyamya is shankara is equal to udyamya is equal to prathakritya sharīradehi okay so look at the verb prathakritya Udhyamya means what? Removing, plucking out, extracting. All these words are called udhyamanam. Okay, and uh, so since that also may not be clear, Shankara Chary is saying, prithak kritya, prithak means separate, different, distinct. Having made this atma distinct. separated out atma separated from what sharira dehe from body etc sharira deha etc okay i separated atma from the body my goodness this is a serious surgery i mean is this a surgery you really do i want to go through all the surgery well fortunately it's not a physical surgery <laughs> okay fortunately hey i have confused myself to be this body this body is all i am if this body is gone i am dead if this body is suffering i am suffering if this body is bones are broken i am finished i am broken hey this is my idea of myself shastram is saying it is not your idea of you if that were your idea of yourself there can't be rebirth punar janma is there how can punar janma is be there if this body is you this body cannot be you even without vedanta i can figure it out that this body is not i am not this body okay because i am going to take on another body then who is that i that i cannot be the body 
ओके बॉडी इज लाइक अ वासाम से जीर्णानि यथा विहाय इट इज लाइक अ कवरिंग फॉर द आत्मा सो कॉल्ड सो कॉल्ड कवरिंग एंड सो दिस कनेक्शन दिस अभिमान देहाभिमान इज देयर इट्स सो स्ट्रांग बिकॉज यू नो व्हाई इट्स स्ट्रांग because it's coming for generations not generations is not the right word it is coming for through so many karmas so many lives so many infinite lives i have that thing therefore i can be excused for saying that i have this so deep connection with this body i love this body so much that i consider myself to be the body but then i have buddhi the buddhi is there fortunately the buddhi can process and can say you know what really speaking i am the observer of this body and therefore i cannot be the body okay i okay so sharir adeh adihi adi adi means etc etc means what parivara parivara commentators are there to explain all these things this is why we have to read the, this uh, tikas and all that so to see what they say what do how do they interpret the word etc correct we can interpret now that we have studied shastram we can interpret so parivara i am i am i am my family if my children are suffering i am suffering my parents are suffering i am suffering something is wrong with them it's like something is wrong with me this means what abhimana even though they are separate body separate people separate karma they were born at different time i was born separately we did not come together you know package deal like tali no we did not come like that the whole different people we just happen to be living in this home and okay we are connected in a very close way connected okay that is fair enough at least you said the word connected and so and that connection i don't take it, that connection to be to literal and there is some connection karma based connection is there but i must be able to say that i am still not my parivara i am not my parivara okay and then and all the other things also parivara and then of course all the things i own and i own so many things okay start from ownership but slowly move on to possession possession instead of saying i own i possess some things that's a good jump that's a that's a great giant leap it is yeah you need some you need some law and order and so therefore we say this is mine that is mine and this is this is my car which is there in my parking spot you know pa- parking spot also is mine you know car is mine i thought but now parking spot also is mine okay fine you have to draw some boundaries to to have some law and order fine but understand that don't take it very very literally and so kamya vishaye bhyaha from all the things that i love which i call my as mine okay and uh, from saprithakritya separating myself from all these things okay and so that process is called what did we say his he, another commentator says nididhyasanam kritva nididhyasanam kritva shrutva is the first one shravanam kritva second is what sam parigrihya means mananam kritva then third one pravrihya nididhyasanam kritva why because shravanam and mananam are done so doubts are cl- cl- clear now no doubts are there so what's left is me with my knowledge but then this hangover is there this karma hangover is there and this knee jerk reaction knee jerk reaction means i am reacting in the same old ways when something happens panic something happens fear this is how i am reacting no okay that's coming because of the habitual error and so neutralizing that habitual error is called here by the upanishad pravrtya okay all right we can move on from there anum sukshmam etam atmanam aapya prapya there is another verb here aapya in the moolam which shankara says prapya prapya so having gained having gained okay etam anum aapya in the moolam 
ओके एतम अणु आप्य दिस सूक्ष्मम अणु इस सूक्ष्मम शंकराचार्य से सीए देयर आल्सो ही हैड सेड सूक्ष्मम एंड वेरी सूक्ष्म बिकॉज इट इज नॉट परसीवेबल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड सो दैट आत्मा इज सूक्ष्म नो डाउट एंड दैट कॉन्शियसनेस which is neither a part or a product or a property of the body okay at least if you tell me where the atma is i can make some effort to protect that atma you are not even telling me where the atma is and so neither a part nor product nor property of the body and atma is what enlivens this body this body and mind is is what it is because of that atma only okay and number 3 what did we say atma is not limited by the boundaries of the body means what atma is extending beyond the body also oh my god okay that is the third thing and third fourth atma survives even after the body passes away okay these are the four attributes of consciousness we talked about so therefore it is clearly sukshmam anum this anu atma is anu and yetam shankaracharya says atmanam this atma द्वितीय विभक्ति एक वचन प्राप्य आप्य सो ये तम आप्य मींस व्हाट आत्मानं प्राप्य सॉरी कुड यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन कॉन्शियसनेस वंस अगेन कॉन्शियसनेस फोर थिंग्स अबाउट कॉन्शियसनेस व्हाट इज दिस कॉन्शियसनेस इज नेदर अ पार्ट नॉर अ प्रॉपर्टी नॉर अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द बॉडी So this is our Paramartha and that. So yeah, that is given in the WhatsApp. Yeah, Ramuji is good at copying and pasting, but going inside the head it takes some time. So good, we will repeat that. Not a problem. We have no problem with that. So consciousness is neither a part nor a property nor a product of the body. <clears throat> Number one. Number two, consciousness <clears throat> or Atma um, is that which enlivens the body. enlivens the body means it makes the body and mind what it is it's it's throbbing with consciousness that is the principal consciousness number 3 atma is not confined by the boundaries of this body which means suddenly he is saying that no you can't really locate atma in the body don't try to look for atma okay atma is not confined by the boundaries of the body and fourth one atma survives even after the body dies and therefore sukshmam so the word sukshmam means all these are loaded words <clears throat> and the more we understand the shastram the more we can appreciate these words anum sukshmam the nirgunam if you want you can say nirgunam also uh, because if it had guna then we can immediately get get hold of it nirgunam so not not perceivable by our sense organs or even the mind even for the mind to grasp something some attribute must be there something must be there a thought even a thought okay so nirgunam and that sukshmam nirgunam anum apya this is where we read till right now let's read the remaining part of the bhashya second half of the mantra yeah मोदते मोदते मोदनीयम मोदनीयम हर्षनीयम आत्मानम आत्मानम एवं विधम ब्रह्म एवं विधम ब्रह्मा आई रिपीट दैट एवं विधम ब्रह्म सद्मा एवं विधम ब्रह्म सद्मा भवनम भवनम नचिकेतसम स्वाम प्रति नचिकेतसम स्वाम प्रति अपावृत द्वारम अपावृत द्वारम विवृतम विवृतम अभिमुखी भूतम अभिमुखी भूतम मन्ये मन्ये 
मोक्षार्हम त्वाम मन्ये इति अभिप्रायः मोक्षार्हम त्वाम मन्ये इति अभिप्रायः सो स्टार्टिंग विद द वर्ड साह व्हिच इज देयर इन द मूलम एंड शंकराचार्य डज नॉट हैव टू से दैट साह इज मर्त्यः but uh, she is saying martya just in case you forgot because it's been almost 10 minutes now it's possible for us to forget so since we studied the meaning of the word martya he understands us very well and so saha martya that martya which was there in the which i mentioned in the first uh, uh, half of this mantra he says saha martya vidwan now suddenly introduce the word vidwan okay and uh, विद्वत् प्रातिपदिकम वतु प्रत्यय वन हु हैज नॉलेज इज कॉल्ड विद्वान ओके दैट इज अ संस्कृत डेरिवेशन या दैट मत्य है इज नाउ विद्वान प्रीवियसली आई एम अ मॉर्टल now he doesn't use the word mortal for himself herself correct okay he is now vidwan and uh, who has gnanam of course gnanavan gnani any word you can use gnana nishthavan now you can even say gnana nishthavan because shravanam krutva what happens knowledge is there but it's doubt there is some clarity not there therefore mananam krutva then knowledge is very much there then this habitual error is there and habitually taking myself to be a mortal despite this fact glaring at me therefore nididhyasanam krutva jnana nishta prapti jnana nishta the word nishta can be used here so jnanam prapya then jnana nishta prapya so you, you can hear say jnana nishthavan one who is sthita prajna in the words of the bhagavad gita in krishna krishna's language sthita prajna so vidwan here means sthita prajna he is and uh, modate modate so maza kar maza karega or karegi whichever saha sa and uh, just rejoices rejoices okay what modaniyam which is the moolam and then harshaniyam atmanam labdhwa okay that atma here harshaniyam modaniyam is harshaniyam harshaniyam is what so commentators further say harshaniyam means what that which is the uh, atmanam labdhwa having gained the atma and what kind of atma it is modaniyam atma atmanam means what atma which is the source of all ananda all the ananda that i have been seeking all along, along is experiential ananda which i think is coming from all this gulab jamun and rasgulla and then here it says no that is not the, that is not possible if gulab jamun can give ananda i can also give ananda that after all it's an inert object but uh, i am not that inert i am a conscious being therefore if that credit can go to rasagulla it can go to me also yeah it can go to me in fact it only should go to me and he is saying here that harshaniyam is the source of all ananda that that you have experienced is this atma okay that kind of atma labdhwa modate rejoices what else is there to do but to rejoice nothing else is there to do. even in pain it rejoices oh my god person will not be free from pain how one can be free from pain a hey, body upadi is there so there is a neurological system when something happens pain will be experienced now pain threshold can improve maybe some people in you know, a pain is there but some people have a high threshold for pain you know they can bear pain and uh, 
uh, some people can't handle pain at all this first instance of a little bit cold that's it immediately allegra and this and that and everything so there if you open this alma almara oh what happened did i come to the wrong place is it a pharmacy you will think no no it's not a pharmacy it is my home only and i need all these things that's all okay for for minor colds i take this for medium colds i take this for advanced colds i take this okay nothing wrong if this is what you have to do you have to do but uh, so but those things but for a jnani whatever pain is there the person has to do what it takes to take care of the body but atma no longer suffers i am no longer a victim i am no longer subject to pain and pleasure body is subject to pain and pleasure and yeah the i the conscious being experience that pain but then i am no longer confused i am no longer confused and so i cannot be taken for a ride anymore even vishnu cannot take me for a ride even shiva cannot take me for a ride correct if shiva comes and knocks on the door and says something and then i can smile at him what game are you playing go look for the neighbor don't look for me okay and i am not available for this games i know you are testing me shiva okay come on let's have a cup of tea so uh modate that is the rejoicing here and uh, then look at this tad yetad so now atma's description is over okay uh, the spiritual journey shravanam mananam nididhyasanam etc over now yama is going to talk about nachiketa right he is going to congratulate nachiketa he is going to tell something about nachiketa what is he going to say tad etad evam vidham brahma sadma bhavanam yeah, let's look at this brahma sadma bhavanam sadma is bhavanam bhavanam and it's not an ordinary palace ordinary building ordinary you know enclosure house it is brahma sadma brahma bhavanam okay shankaracharya says it is the palace of brahma it is a place where brahma is available in abundance as it were okay evam vidham brahma sat yeah evam vidham means that atma that i described earlier okay that dharmyam that dharmat anapetam atma that atma which is all pervasive which is not limited by the boundaries of the body which is which enlivens the body and which level enlivens the entire world the universe it enlivens that atma okay evam vidham okay. evam vidham atmanam and here brahma sadma brahma bhavanam okay then what what about this brahma bhavanam nachiketasam swam prati apavritam dwaram vivritam abhimukhi bhutam this brahma bhavanam is now apavrita dwaram dwaram is doors this brahma bhavanam is being described by this word it has doors obviously dwaram and apavrita dwaram those doors are opening are now open it seems open and open for whom nachiketasam tvam prati shankaracharya is trying to re rewording all these things because uh, yama is putting it in third person achiketa samprati eh hey, achiketa is right in front of front of uh, yama you, you for you you should say so sakracharya is saying for you swam prati towards you the doors are all opening facing you okay you don't have to search for where the entrance is sometimes you go to some places you have to look for where is the entrance you come to the right place you know geo and all this uh, ola and uh, uber and all you have used you come to the right place you got off the taxi also and even it says the board but the door is not visible because sometimes they will say you have to go from the back door for some reason the front door will be closed and whatever reason and so some temples are also like that i know famous temple which is like that and uh, so no you don't have to search for the door nothing apavrita dwaram it's open right there it's in front of you and abhimukhi bhutam sakracharya is explaining the word divritam abhimukhi bhutam okay it is facing you it's facing you okay and uh, you don't have to look any further manye aham manye i consider this i consider this 
this thing is happening now that you are ready you are ready for this it's now a detail that's all i'm have to tell you a few things about atma this this vedanta is there but you got it you are almost there you 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 are at the door all you have to do is step inside that's all so it's now cake walk for you hey nachiketa okay therefore next line look at that moksharham swam manye iti abhiprayah abhiprayah the way to understand this shankaracharya is saying abhiprayah is iti moksharham swam manye aham manye i consider you to be moksharaha means qualified for moksha you are qualified for moksha you are qualified for this teaching for grasping this teaching uh, and therefore getting moksha that is the main moksha arham swam manye iti abhipraya you know it's like this this children some of them they, they even before going to college they know so much and then they finished college and this guy knows so much about medicine and he's talking like a doctor but he's not a doctor yet but he's talking like it. he's talking about this medicine that medicine how it works but you know there is abuse of drugs this that and you have to be careful about all these things you have antibiotics will do this that really wow you are talking but in fact better than a doctor also because doctors don't have time to talk like this you pay them a lot of money but you don't really get any proper advice from them they are rushing but this guy is you're really good i think you have to get a degree it's just a formality formality you are already you already got it so that's what he's saying here okay so that concludes this bhashyam and so what is the summary of this bhashyam summary of this mantra shravanam mananam and vidyasanam which are the means for brahma vidya are indicated by yama as the means for moksha and uh, then jnana phalam also is given so what is the benefit of this knowledge i don't want to know atma just for the sake of knowing atma sah modate modniyam ilabdha having gained that knowledge then that person is free from harsha shoka it was said in the previous mantra and harsha shoka jahati here modani modate the word modate is used no longer in sorrow let's look at the anvaya of the mantra etat shrutva etam samparigrihya etat shrutva etam samparigrihya धर्म्यम प्रवृह्य अनुम आप्य अनुम आप्य मोदनीयम लब्ध्वा मोदनीयम लब्ध्वा हि लब्ध्वा सह मर्त्यः सह मर्त्यः मोदते हि आई पुट हि हियर फुल स्टॉप विद इन ब्रैकेट्स अहम नचिकेतसम अहम नचिकेतसम नेक्स्ट विथ इन ब्रैकेट्स प्रति प्रति गवंस द्वितीय नचिकेतसम प्रति अनदर वर्ड इन ब्रैकेट्स ब्रह्म ब्रैकेट्स क्लोज सद्म अहम नचिकेतसम प्रति ब्रह्म सद्म सद्म इज मूलम नेक्स्ट विथ इन ब्रैकेट्स भवनम जस्ट इन केस आई want to know what the sadma means so aham nachiketa samprati brahma sadma bhavanam vivritam manye vivritam manye let's 
let me repeat that etat shrutva kama etam samparigrihya kama dharmyam pravrihya kama we are matching the verbs and nouns here, as you can see kama anum apya kama modaniyam labdhva kama saha martyaha modate hi full stop next sentence aham nachiketa samprati brahma sadma bhavanam vivritam manye full stop okay let's read the sambandha bhashyam of the next mantra this next sentence we are going to read is not there in the gita press so gita press people note this sentence down etat shrutva etat shrutva nachiketaah nachiketaah punaha aah punaha aah so that you have to write down uh, those who are not following the pdf notes but following the gita press what is it etat shrutva nachiketaah punaha aah okay then yadi aham yogyah yadi aham yogyah prasannah cha prasannah cha asi asi bhagavan maam prati bhagavan maam prati anyatra dharmat anyatra dharmat anyatra dharmat anyatra dharmat anyatra asma anyatra asmat krita kritat anyatra asmat krita kritat anyatra bhuta cha bhavya cha anyatra bhuta cha bhavya cha yat tat pashyasi tad vada yat tat pashyasi tad vada anyatra dharmad anyatra dharmat anyatra dharmad anyatra dharmat anyatra asmat krita kritat anyatra asmat krita kritat anyatra bhuta cha bhavya cha anyatra bhuta cha bhavya cha yat tat pashyasi tad vada yat tat pashyasi tad vada uh, guruji can you please repeat sambandha vakyam after punar punarah so after punar punarah after that okay so it is not there in your notes yadi aham yogya ha oh it's not there in the pdf file it is it's there. there it's there in the shankara bhashya it's below the yeah it's below it's the shankara bhashya bhashya first first okay. sentence it is there as part of the bhashya beginning of the bhashya yeah okay so it must be there so yadi aham yogya ha prasanna ha cha asi bhagavan maam prati anirudh uh, did you see it Yes, I did. Thank you, thank you, Guruji. Thank you, everyone. Okay. So, Samanta Bhashyam is giving Shankara Charya. Nachiketa ha ah. So until now, Yama, Yama ha ah. Now, Nachiketa ha ah. Nachiketa is saying, okay. Puna ha ah. Again, he said. <laughs> Patiently listening. Fellow is listening. and uh, you are testing my patience yama okay and all this i know this shreyascha prayascha and all i know i know all that okay okay so it's like some teachers you know like the vedanta classes we keep repeating all the time you know so the same thing happens there also i suppose it's all it's all it's called um this is called uh, sampradaya the boring sampradaya boring also comes from our sampradaya only okay etat shrutva nachiketah punah having heard this nachiketa said again okay what did he say now begin quotes okay begin quotes yadi aham yogya ha asmi can say asmi if you want if i if you think i am qualified because you said that just now you said aham nachiketa sam vivrutam sadma manye you said that okay so yadi aham yogya ha since you said i am qualified and further 
perasaan nah aja asih <laughs> asih you okay and you are happy you both have to i am qualified but you are not happy means how does it work chemistry is not good you know prasanna cha asi you from you can say in in brackets okay from prasanna cha asi and you are happy then bhagavan maam prati hey bhagavan maam prati towards me you are happy also means you are ready to teach and you are happy with who i am and you don't see any obstacles at all unlike unlike what unlike indra and virochana and they went to they went to as uh, who is that sanat kumar or something i forget now and uh, they said we want to teach us brahma vidya and they said practice brahmacharyam for 36 years we went to brahma only no illa <laughs> brahma gade okay no, no, somebody else prajapati no prajapati okay brahma correct prajapati Oh, went to Prajapati. I see. Uh, I need to review. Okay. So Brahma Ji only. Correct. So practice Brahma Charyam for 36 years. Then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. And so no, here it's not like that. He is instantaneous. Nachiketa is ready. Yama is given the certificate. So then, then Nachiketa ha uvacha. Right. This is Nachiketa statement. Very famous statement and very important statement. We'll see why. <coughs> अन्यत्र धर्मात् अन्यत्र अधर्मात् ओके वेरी टू प्रोफाउंड स्टेटमेंट इट इज सी अन्यत्र मींस अन्यत् ओके वी विल एनालाइज इट लेटर अन्यत् अदर देन टेल मी दैट व्हिच इज अदर देन धर्म एंड अदर देन अधर्म ओके दैट इज द ग्रैंड स्टेटमेंट ही इज मीन ही इज नॉट सेइंग टेल मी व्हाट इज राइट एंड रॉंग i know what is right and wrong you don't have to tell me different from arjuna's question arjuna's question somewhat boy based on confusion okay so it's confused about how to deal with this situation and uh, yeah i i step back something is fundamentally wrong with me that is arjuna's question but here there is no confusion this the guy does not have any confusion in fact he is telling me i know all about dharma and adharma and uh, teach me okay uh that's what he's saying here so how many of you attended my talk on katopanishad the four day uh, four session talk did. yeah many of you did so there i gave some examples okay right and wrong i know i know means what speaking the truth when i'm supposed to speak the truth when i am supposed to not tell the quote and quote truth also i know okay a patient heart patient uh, who who's who, who has only a few days to live doctor says everything is fine don't worry enjoy life really don't worry enjoy life yes patient now is happy doctor said it therefore see we often our our problem gets relieved the moment we enters the doctor's office and doctor smiles and says a few words we feel good about it why should we feel good you are feeling awful just 10 minutes ago now you feel good what happened nothing happened you have not swallowed a single medicine yet no injection nothing how come you feel good well that's the beauty of doctor's words and so uh, i know all about this and uh, i i know when not to tell the quote and quote truth to make people feel happy and that's it is still fine and that is what is the right thing to do all these things i know and uh, on top of that on earth there are a lot of things happening and these days our life has become so complicated by clicking a button on amazon.com or amazon.in and buying i might be doing himsa because i may be uh, i may be in, in indirectly sponsoring abuse in china and other places or india and other places we don't know because everything is outsourced and we don't know if you look at the supply chain i have analyzed all this yama i know all these things okay and uh, medical field don't talk about it yama we are, uh, we are very advanced in medicine okay 
even though now your job you are doing the job of picking up all these people putting an end to the people's lives and uh, but we have succeeded in advancing that age previously 50 now 60 now you are having to come at 70 and you are you are getting we are giving you some rest these days is it not but in the process you know what we do we test these medicines and animals and animals are suffering as increased as on account of that i know which medicine what is being tested i know all those things okay and all these chemicals we use and we just press the button and within half an hour our clothes are all washed and we put all kinds of chemicals in that the companies that make those chemicals i know what kind of testing they do okay and the, they pour all this tide and all this powder around the animals eyes monkeys eyes rabbits eyes and take notes on how much suffering they undergo and what happens to those eyes they watch these animals bleed to death okay i know all these things i've seen videos of all this also okay so i'm not making up any of these things i know that if you use spray cans like this and we have succeeded in making a hole in the ozone we people we don't know what ozone is but we have created things which is making a hole in the ozone and in the process we are suffering hey, Yama, i know all these things don't talk about dharma dharma please i know all these things tell me that which sustains dharma and adharma tell me that tell me that which is the essence of dharma and adharma dharma adharma i know when there is something called truth there will be something called falsehood when there is something good there will be something bad when something is above there has to be something below all these opposites dwandva and all i know so this dharma and adharma also falls in the same category of dwandva and so this dwandva titam kimiti vada tell me what it is what is that which is transcends this dharma and adharma and i think there is something like that so that is why i'm here okay so here in this mantra uh, the same words he used he did not use the same words that he used in 1120 he simply said there are people who doubt who have ideas about this atma and whether it survives death or not like that generally he has given an indication but here nachiketa is refining his question refining his question in such a way that this mantra bhashyakara shankaracharya quotes in other upanishads in the bhashyam of other upanishads that's how important this mantra is quotes because using chankara um, nachiketa's question as a definition of atma itself okay like that that's how important this is and uh, earlier there was a question about what, what atma nachiketa is asking about the two types of atma what two types of atma what is this suddenly you're talking about two types of atma yeah see Yeyam prete vichikitsa manushye astitye ke nayam astiti chate. Hey, after death, what happens? Is there something? The Atma has traveled, they say Atma is traveling and then takes on another body. Uh, so that traveling Atma, there seems to be an Atma that is traveling also, a Ganta Atma. And this Atma that has accrued so much kar karma palam, punyam and papam, a karta atma there seems to be a karta who is a ganta who is a traveler and he travels based on the loss of this karma phala data yama dharma raja chitra gupta okay that traveling atma which is bounded by this this body confines of this body is that an atma that nachiketa is asking about or is he asking about not ganta atma aganta atma atma that doesn't move why because atma is not confined to the uh, this confines of this body because atma is all pervasive and atma that is akarta so that aparichinna akarta aganta atma va or parichinna karta ganta atma va correct what atma is he talking about well this question makes it very clear that it is about this aparichinna means not 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 finitized not something that has no boundaries no divisions atma which has no divisions aparichinna akarta aganta an atma that doesn't travel anywhere 
physical atma is all pervasive where is the question of travel atma itself sustains space akasha therefore only when akasha is created there can be travel a finite entity can travel therefore it's now clear from this question we will see that shortly that uh, nachiketa is asking about anyatra dharmat dharmat anyatra other than dharma other than adharma then anyatra asmat krita akrita cha beautiful statement this is this is more than a scientist can handle krita shankaracharya is going to tell us karyam effect akrita cause cause and effect tell me that which is beyond cause and effect can you imagine a boy asking this question science is all about cause and effect entire world of science all sciences all subjects cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect that's why reason is so important in in science and rationality is so important rationality means co understanding cause and effect okay uh, so tell me that which is beyond cause and effect what a question it is then anyatra bhuta cha bhavya cha tell me that which is bhuta means past tarade irukata bhuta means past okay ma tarade irukata okay bhuta means past tell me that which is other than past and then other than future the bhavya is future means other than present also shankara will tell us and then yat tat pashyasi tad bad what you know yet pashyasi that which you see as what i just asked you tad bad tell me that teach me about that don't under okay don't tell me about my father did this my this i made mistakes you made this. all this i all the story everybody makes mistakes i know okay so let's get don't beat around the bush anymore that is what he is saying here okay om pur namada pur navidam pur nat pur namudachyate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते ओम शान्ति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम